Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Warren Bennett. Treb's mooching around the garden somewhere, preoccupied with his tennis ball. This video is all about how to create internal power. So that gets built up in the transition and how we swing down to the ball. But more importantly is how we pivot around our front legs. So obviously for a right hand, it's gonna be my left leg. I'm gonna show you how you do that properly. Now you would have seen a video of mine of my best tip for senior golfers. Obviously this type of thing isn't for someone like that. But if you wanna create more power and really create power with control, this is a really good one. So just hang around, I'll get the front camera set up and we'll see you in a bit. Okay everyone, so thanks very much for sticking around for another video. I hope everyone's out there playing some good golf. So this sort of exercise and this sort of um, drill I'm going to show you is something a lot of elite players do and they probably don't even know they're doing it. So to create power, if you've kind of plateaued in terms of your speed and power, um, this will be a good one for you because remember what I always say, the golf swing's made up of three different body parts. It's your legs, body, arms and hands. This is more of a torso. This is really going to get your power and really going to create some power with control, which is the key. It's not just a flash and hit it harder. So you can see with a few of my slow motion swings I'm going to put up here, you can see how I create power on the way down to the ball. What I'm going to show you what that means in a minute. One more swing. So to rotate around the front leg, you've got to be able to be in the correct position to do that. A lot of people, especially high handicappers, people who are beginning, trying to scoop up in the air and they're staying back behind the ball. What you really want to try and do in the transition halfway down is you want to try and put pressure onto this front foot. So what I mean by that is you want to really try and get into this front foot. That is only a split second. That's obviously too much just to show you for effect. But you can see from the behind view there, I'm really squatting. I'm creating a bit of power into my right leg down. But more, more importantly, I'm into my left leg. I'm putting pressure down into my left leg. So my right, my left foot, I can feel a lot of pressure going into the ball of my foot there. So I'm really squatting down. And then from here, you're looking to really pivot. So now I've got a position to now, a little bit. So now I'm in a position to pivot correctly. If I do nothing and just swing down without any kind of movement, shifting, I can't pivot around that leg. Or if I do, I'm gonna be behind the ball and probably hook it badly. So you really wanna try and get into the shot. That's what I call it. I'm kind of into the shot. I'm over the top of the ball, as you can see, it's exaggerated. But from here, I can really now pivot through the ball and create that internal power, which you can't feel. Let me show you a drill exercise that you can do. Like I always say, club with a bit of loft. I've got a seven iron here. You could probably do it with a nine or an eight. Right, let's go for it into the shot you can see my left leg how bent it is it's a bit of separation there and from here i'm really having to kind of pivot around and really use my internal that's where you create the internal power like any type of throwing sport there's an internal power as i say for instance a discus thrower i've never thrown a discus in my life and or well, since school days anyway i'm going to imagine that a lot of their power comes from internal here and it's the same with the golf swing it's a rotary motion, obviously there's some up and down involved as well, but it's a rotary motion. And we're after this kind of movement of this trunk. So it kind of goes round obviously, and it probably goes up as well. But to get the torso moving up, it's first you've got to come down. And that's a split second stuff. It's obviously I'm going to show you for effect here, but I'd like you to do an exaggeration too, just like this. So normal backswing, just before you get to the top of the backswing, you're looking for like a squat down, but into your left side. So I'm pushing all my weight into my left side. You can see how down and in the shot I am, quite closed. It does allow this club to drop in the slot a little bit more. And then from here, you really have to kind of use your torso and the club and the ball will just get in the way of the club face. But you're creating, you're just storing all this power, storing it up and then letting it go, that final snap down to the ball. It's quite elite stuff, this. Someone who's just beginning or, you know, higher handicapper or has some issues internally in terms of their hips and knees. I wouldn't do this because obviously you're putting quite a lot of strain on top and you're twisting around your hip. So remember, I did a video for that a few videos ago in terms of my favorite tip for senior golfers. You're probably gonna have to just accept that you might just have to swing the club with your hands and arms and that's good too. 
but this is for someone who has the ability to really coil and really get internal and create some power by your torso. Okay, so one more before we blend it all up. Back swing, nice and light with the hands, just before we get to the top, squat and into our left side. So I'm what's called using the ground. I'm using the ground and pressurizing my left foot. Twist round, remember that's not a result based, that's just to give you the feeling and breaking it down. Okay, let's blend it up. So being able to kind of blend it, it's always never gonna be as much as when we do it with our drill, but that's fine. We're gonna take a bit of pace off, nice and light with our hands, just before we're gonna pressure down and then turn through. Really great for those golfers who spin too early, because what I call in the shot, we're staying in the shot for longer. So what I mean by that is in the shot is here. You can see from the behind view, you can see my legs are still really closed. I'm still in the shot, I haven't twisted yet. Someone who's not in the shot would be someone like this, who's kind of twisted too early, everything's too open too early, and then from here, compensations will have to be made. Probably after a while, you'll hold on to it to stop it going left. And this is the opposite to that, is creating power as well as good path. Remember the one thing that improves four, improves loads of things, and then you can pivot as hard as you like through the ball. Oh yeah, even for an old guy like me, that felt pretty good. Okay, three left, and you can blend it up with different speeds. Let's do it really slow. It's a dual feeling, it's split second, and that's the timing element of this. So you can do some practice swings down, down. Allow the club to drop, I'm not forcing it down at all. I'm allowing it to drop down, turn through. Turn meaning my belly button is gonna be twisting over my left heel. I'm not staying stationary, I'm keeping it round. I'm twisting round as far and as quickly as I can, because I can now. So it's real bang, really quick, and create that snap down the bottom. There we go, that felt better. And it really felt like I was putting that extra snap down into the ground. Because remember a golf swing, a golf swing isn't a putting exercise. Yes, there's drills on the channel to, to kind of make sure you're in the correct place, but it's never when you're kind of free flowing. And when we're pulling the pin and everything's flowing normally and quickly, the golf club has to follow. So it has to be guided and to be guided in the correct place, it has to, you have to be in the correct place. So allow this club to drop in the correct place, create that extra bit of snap down the bottom, you have to do it correctly. And this kind of power squat through the ball and this snap down at the bottom is really going to help you. So remember, if you've got some issues uh, physically, this probably isn't for you. Because remember, I'm here to give an overview of the golf swing, no matter what kind of ability, physical capabilities and incapabilities you've got. I'm here to give, hopefully, uh, an overview, a comprehensive overview of the golf swing. Okay everyone, so lovely to have you along for another video and thank you very much for everyone's support and everyone's positive comments and hopefully, you know, I'm here to hopefully help you improve your golf swing and to make golf less stressful. It's never going to be a game that we can master and if you hit a funny one, you want to kind of know why and then how to fix it quite quickly and hopefully that's why I'm here to give you that hopefully that little bit of kind of guidance. Okay everyone, so from a very sunny south east of England, I bid you farewell. I'm definitely going to go in for a drink, I'm sweating up here, so I'll see you on the next one. So thanks very much everyone, if you're playing golf today, have a great time, hopefully it's sunny where you are and we'll see you tomorrow. From myself and just myself for this one, Treb's too tired, I'll see you then. Thanks very much everyone, cheerio!